The likes yeah. I can smell all of the smoke All that love and positivity That shit is a joke I should dead them all My heart ski down slopes When you the piggy bank Everybody wanna see you broke, bro Me and snakes don't lip lock I don't think the feet look good on me Like flip flops I know if I spit it It belongs in a ziplock They know I'ma kill them All they hear in this TikTok Your time is up where there's fire, you see the smoke, yeah I know liars, I seen them fall, yeah I'm so tired from all these souls It's done been a good year My tires don't leave the road, yeah Uh <laughs> Are they serious? I seen liars that testified under oath, I hear Rappers not living out what they wrote, my peers uh, with the episode today, I just want to talk to you real quick about my friend Patrick Spicer over at Hybrid Human Performances. Hybrid Human Performances is a state-of-the-art training facility located in Lincoln, Nebraska, with reputable coaches that can take you to the next level. Each training session is designed to and for the athlete to be successful in their sport. Notable Hybrid Human Performance alumni include cornerback for the Chicago Bears, Lamar Jackson, Seahawks safety, Deontay Williams, Nebraska Cornhuskers quarterback, Casey Thompson, and Lincoln native, Noah Walters, quarterback for the North Alabama Lions. If you want to take your game to the next level, contact Patrick with Hybrid Human Performance at 307-321-8365 or shoot him an email at patrick, P-A-T-R-I-C-K, at hybrid-hp.com. Enjoy the episode. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oscar Galindo. I am back with another episode of The Official Visit. Today, I got two cross-county studs. Uh, I got a uh, fullback slash linebacker slash probably the world's strongest, like, 17-year-old or something <laughs> at this point. I got Isaac Dickey. Uh, and then we also have a uh, tight end, uh, a fast-rising uh player in the 2024 class and we got Tan Tanner Hollinger Hollinger yeah all right yeah there we go it's my bad I don't want to butcher it uh all right so the first question we got uh here is um would you guys rather make a game winning touchdown or have the game ceiling I'm talking like fourth and fourth and one at the goal line to seal to win the game uh, would you rather have the game ceiling tackle? I'll go first or me. You got it. All right. I'd, I'd probably have to go with the game winning tackle. I feel like defense, you know, getting a big defensive stop would be nice. Yeah. yeah I, feel like that, I feel like that kind of created a lot of momentum. Like, oh, yeah. like a game winning stop, like you just smack them in the backfield. Like, like that's just that. So that would got to carry over to the next week. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it'd be tackle as well because, you know, you got the lead and, and they're just trying to come back and you just, just crunch all their hope right there. So that's my. You shut the door on them? Yep. Right then and there? Yeah, for sure. Um, and do you guys have uh, any pregame routines that you like to go through? Maybe you, you know, have a specific meal you like to get in before a game or maybe you got a little, uh, you know, Routine or something that you go through before a game. Do you, do you guys have anything like that? Uh, we uh, usually don't eat a ton of food, but head up. We got this. Uh, we go upstairs to the weight room and we chill on the wrestling mats. They take a nap, or we've even uh, got a pump in one time. Yeah. Or every yeah. once in a while, get some squat going. Yeah, there you go. Get a nice little. Get the veins popping a little bit before the game. A little intimidation. Yeah. Sure. Um, do you guys have a uh, pump up song, like a go to pump up song that uh, you know whenever you whenever you need to get going, uh, this is the one that no hesitation you can go to. We uh we were big on Michael Jackson last year. Okay, Michael yeah. Jackson. What's that? What song were you got? What song was? What was it? it wasn't uh, We Are the World, right? That didn't work. I, don't, I don't know the name of the song. But... Me neither. Yeah. Smooth criminal, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, anything that's loud, honestly. 
Yeah, all right. I, I just want to make sure it wasn't like, we are the world or something, <laughs> something like that. I was like, hey, man, you guys, <laughs> you guys are not the most pumped song, but all right. No, Michael Jackson, yeah, I hadn't heard that one before, man. Yeah. Beat it. I bet that one, that, that probably get, goes hard. Uh, and then who is your favorite player at your position? I know you guys are, you know, kind of versatile players, so uh, I'll let you guys pick there, but this could be college level or even, or the NFL level, uh, just kind of that player you guys like to emulate. Um, well, he doesn't play football anymore, like Joey Makovica for fullback of Nebraska back in the day. Yeah. Uh, probably, I used to watch Austin Allen a lot. I liked him. So, yeah. don't see me too many fullbacks, so don't got. Yeah, to no, that's tough, man. Oh, what's the, what's the name of the one from uh, Portland? Use use check. Use oh yeah, check. he's a big dude. He, he, he's one. He's one I like right now, man. He's kind of he, he's kind of holding it up there for the for the fullbacks <laughs> in the league. Um, and then if I'm going to check out a game, say this fall I go, I check out a game over at Cross Cross County. Uh. Say afterwards, I need, I need to get a quick bite to eat. Is there is there any good spots out there, uh, low key spots that I can go get a quick uh, low key bite to eat out there? We got the, yeah, we got the, we got a bar in town, and then we also got the corner cafe. That would be closed though yeah. by then, but you can go to the bar. Yeah, the bar's got good. some good food. Bar. We got the, yeah, we got the, we got a bar in town, and then we also got the corner cafe. That would be closed though yeah. by then, but you can go to the bar. Uh, bars got, got some good food. food. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Get some burgers going or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Really yeah, good. What, what was it called? You said West Side or no? West, is it West, is it West Side still? It might be. I think it's called West Side Bar and Grill. They might have changed the name by now, but okay. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, man. If I if I go out there, I'm, I'm gonna have to check these spots out, man. Yeah. Um. All right, and then yeah, that's all I got for the warm up questions. Uh, we'll kind of transition here. Uh, talk a little bit about, you know, Cross County and the Cougars, uh, you know, this past season. You guys had, you know, you guys had a great season. Uh, you know, you started off 8-0, uh, and 0, uh, ran through the regular season pretty, you know, for the most part, pretty fairly easily. Um, you know, you guys averaged 54 points a game, uh, scored 73 times, 70 plus three times. Uh, you, you guys may want to, you know, recap the season, kind of, you know, give me a breakdown of, uh, how it went down for you guys, and, you know, yeah, just kind of you guys' this point of view from it. Uh, well, it was a big kind of question mark for this year because we got so many dudes that hadn't even played, hadn't even touched touched the field. So it was like a, you know, a uh, big question mark, I guess, for the season. And we had some good confidence going through, but, I mean, our schedule was just very weak. So I think uh, by the time playoffs came, I think we – it's sad to say, but I think we overlooked them and yeah. it cost us for sure. We weren't, like, we weren't prepared for, like, a really hard game. Because, like, the first game of the year we played Sutton, and that was, like, a tough game for us. But we, we won in the end. And then we finished off our year with Shelby and Clarkson Lee, which were two good games. Before we kind of talk a little bit about the playoffs, you know, tell me a little bit about that Clarkson Lee game. Because that, that one was – yeah, that one was crazy. You guys went down to the wire with that one. Uh, you know, they eventually did win uh, state championship. State championship. Uh, yeah, talk to me about you know the, the grit and the grind of you know, playing playing one of those you know close matchups against a team that you know they're they're very physical as well. Uh, you know, kind of close, similar to you guys. I think it's it's definitely a lot of fun. Like I, I personally, I wish every game was like that it's like every team we play is good because that helps build us up even if we like lose to a close game like that will help so much for the playoffs um yeah they're were, they're were a really good team they were physical fast everything it was a uh, it was a really fun night and i mean even if that would have ended in a loss like that was definitely our most beneficial game of the year you know playing real competition it was it was a fun night. Yeah, you learn a lot about a team. You learn about your team a lot when you play a hard team, like how mentally tough you guys are, how hard you guys have actually been working. And whatnot. So then, you know, like you mentioned a little bit, Tanner, you guys, you know, kind of, you know, 
in that little weird area where you, you know you have some some good players coming back, but you do have a lot of new new faces on the starting squad. Uh, and you know, you guys were running up just the year before. Uh, kind of tell me what 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 that was like, kind of making sure everyone kind of gets caught up to speed and making sure everyone you know kind of continues that. You know, even though you guys didn't win that championship kind of uh, culture there. Uh, tell me a little bit about what that was like and how you how you guys plan to continue that going into next year. The biggest thing for us is, is the weight room and the off-season grind. Like, just, like, knowing that we can never be satisfied. Like, last year, you know, we, we got runner-up, which still is not the goal, but we had so much new green faces on the team. Like, we just we knew we had to work the hardest, and obviously we didn't work hard enough, so that's going to be – the biggest priority this year is is making sure everybody's bought in and and we got a lot of returning guys so I'm really excited. Yeah. It's it's that year like this this season we had to like really build people up and like help teach them the ropes cuz I think we only had three people come back from the running running runner up year that had actually started so we had five other guys on the field at all times that hadn't ever really played valuable minutes, you know. And I think the the game is going to slow down for everybody next yeah. year. And I think that, like, all around, we're just – I just think it's going to be really fun because we're all going to have that experience now, and yeah. we're going to go do it. A lot of guys are really, like, starting to love the game, and they're building it into the weight room. Like, we – the team mandatory lifts four days a week, 6.30 every morning. And then I bring some other guys up over the weekends, and we lift I, – last week I lifted all all days of the week. Just gotta love it. Yeah, definitely. You know, and yeah, you know, I've seen I've seen a lot of that, a lot of that grind. Uh, you know, just on social media, and you know, we'll touch on that here in a bit. Uh, but yeah, like you said, you know, next year you guys are kind of, uh, you know, now that you guys aren't necessarily you know, playing so much catch up with some of the players, uh, you guys can really kind of focus in on you know, trying to get over that hump. Uh, you know, try to get you know not just to the state championship and make sure you guys win it. Uh, but, you know, what kind of motiva- what kind of motivating factor is it, you know, that you guys went undefeated in the regular season? Like I said, you know, you guys kind of ran through it. Uh, and then, like you said, Tanner, you, you guys kind of overlooked uh, weeping water there in that first round. Uh, kind of tell me what that does, you know, to you guys, what, what that was like at the moment and kind of how you guys have uh, – how should I say, taking it in since then, you know, and how you guys use it for next year. I think me- mentally, it, in the moment, it was really hard to, like, grasp what had just happened. You know, like, we just got Lost. knocked out first round Lost. after going 8-0. and Like, we were expecting to fly by, which isn't a good mentality, and we realize that now, like, you play every game like it's going to be your last, and next year it will be our last, so we just got to win. Uh, it, it definitely doesn't. I mean, I think we talk about it every day. Like, I don't think we ever go a day without thinking about it. Like, it's just, it's just we just remember that that feeling that we had, and we don't ever want to feel that again. So, I think, I think as as much as it sucked, I think it was a good learning opportunity good for us, and I think that's going to benefit us a lot. Percent, man. Yeah, because you know, some, like you said, you know, you guys kind of ran had that mentality that you guys were just kind of going to run through it. Um, yeah, maybe that maybe that did kind of, you know, hurt you guys there at the end. Uh, um, so, yeah, so then, you know, let's kind of talk a little bit about, you know, your guys' team. Like, you guys, I mean, this, this is kind of class, you know, eight-man football just in general. Like, you guys just love being physical. You guys love just ground and pound, uh, you know, just beating guys up out there. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about, uh, you know, what it's like playing in that, you know, in the offense or playing eight man football, you know, as as a fullback and, you know, as a, you know, a tight end uh, that, you know, you have you're a good catcher, but you do a lot of blocking, and you, you know, you do it really well. Uh, talk to me a little a little bit about that mentality to, you know, take on that physicality. It's just something that uh, we've embraced here, I guess, like the message is for every game that like we're going to be the most physical people out there and I that's just how like what we do and and I think everybody accepts their roles and like I know that in our offense I'm 
we're pretty much just like tight ends pretty much glorified like more run blockers and that's like I just accept that and just like that's what we got to do for the team so it's it's really fun too you know oh yeah just like ever since six kids in the yeah. ground so ever since sixth grade we've been just like we've been taught to run the ball block we don't pass you know it's just not something you see much in eight man so we've all gotten pretty good at that and like Tanner said accepting our roles like I'll get carried here and there, but pounding someone into the ground, pancaking them, that's so much fun. You know, like I said, you guys both do a really good job with that, you know, just being physical, you know, on offense or, or defense as well. You know, you guys, some hard-hitting dudes. Um, a little bit of, uh, I guess, a transition over here to the recruitment side. Uh, you know, you guys are, I mean, Tanner, you've kind of, in the last month or so, you've kind of blown up a little bit. Uh, there with a couple offers, and then Isaac, I know uh, for fullbacks, it is a little tougher, um, but, you know, you haven't received that first offer yet, but, you know, we'll get there. Tanner, talk to me a little bit about that first offer from Southeast Missouri State and kind of, you know, how that came to be. Were you guys already talking quite a bit before then? Were you guys, or was that just kind of something that sprung up? Uh, we, we have been talking for a while, you know, talking on the phone every once in a while, and he, uh, they're big on relationships, so we had to, we, like, they're not just going to call you up right away and offer you, so he had to ask me questions and hear the right things from me before I got that, so. And then, you know, that kind of opened, like, that kind of opened up doors, you know, you got South Dakota State after that, South Dakota offer, and then uh, recently in Northern Iowa. Uh, you know, talk to me about those relationships with those players and those team or, or not with those players, those coaches and those teams. Uh, and then kind of what are your plans? You know, are you planning visits? Are you planning to attend team camps, stuff like that? Uh, I visited South Dakota State and South Dakota um, on a Friday and Saturday, and I really liked it at both places. Uh, really good coaches, really good dudes. And then um, I was going to visit Northern Iowa last weekend, but we got some winter weather, so I stayed home and they uh, called me that morning and still offered me, and then uh, I set up visits with Wyoming and going to Nebraska early April, and then uh, Northern Illinois, and I'm still gonna go to Wayne State later in April. So you kind of named a couple teams there at the end. Uh, are those like the only teams you that are in the fold right now, or are there other ones that you haven't, you, you haven't kind of, uh, how should I say? Fit into your schedule so far. Uh, yeah, those are the ones I have set right now. Okay. Um, and then um, let me see here. So then Isaac, uh, I know for you know, like I said, for fullbacks, it you know, it's it's dying breed, man. You you know, you guys, there's not a whole lot out there, not a whole lot of teams that you know are actively you know, recruiting fullbacks, but nonetheless, you I feel like you have the skill set, you know, not just as a fullback as a blocker, but you just have you're just a good you're just a good runner, man. A good football player in general. Uh, what are what are schools kind of telling you on the recruiting front of it? Everything. Uh, I've been talking to a couple schools. I visited Wayne a while back. That was pretty nice. And I'm gonna go to Drake's spring game. They have fullbacks on their roster, so that's pretty cool. And then I got in a couple other junior days: Shattern State, Augustana, um, Benjamin Benjamin State. The Midgey State. Uh, are you kind of hearing more back uh, as a fullback, or are they? Are you kind of hearing some talks about maybe playing linebacker as well? Uh, definitely more fullback slash like H back running back type hybrid. Not as much linebacker because last year I played mainly nose guard, so I don't have that much that many highlights for linebacker. Uh, what, what what are your uh, plans this this spring and summer? Are you planning on getting out to a lot of team? You know, spring practices are kind of popping up now and stuff like that. Yeah, I think me. I, I mean, once it gets a little closer to summer, me and Tanner are gonna go to a couple camps around the area, and individual camps, of course, and prospect camps and whatnot. So then, you know, going going. We talked a little bit about it now being your senior year. Is the off season? You know, that last final off season to get that good. You know push, uh, you know, in your development and all that kind of stuff. What are you guys hoping to, uh, what, what, what aspects of your game are you guys hoping to kind of uh, 
uh, hone in on this off season and kind of you know sharpen those sharpen those skills up a little bit. Uh, probably uh, <clears throat> speed and strength. Uh, there's you can always get stronger and faster, so that's what I'm gonna focus on. Putting on the weight too, so. I played, I played way too. Like I was like 190 last year, so it was, it's a big focus to put on weight. So. Do you have like a target weight you're trying to get to, or just probably 230. 230. Yeah. Okay. Uh, definitely for me, speed, which I've been working on that in track. I'll be running the 100 and 4 by one, so that's nice. And then I've also been playing on weight. I ended ended the season at like 198. And I'm like 215 right now. And of course, lifting all the time. So, yeah. yeah. So, you know, if I'm a coach, and I'm, I'm asking you guys, uh, you know, I'm talking to you guys, have you in for a visit or whatever it may be, uh, and I ask you, you know, why, why is it that, why do I need you guys on my team? Well, you know, what, you know, what do you guys bring to the table in terms of, you know, helping us win and uh, helping our culture and stuff like that? I uh, just. I think we're all just so like hardworking and we're we embrace the grind and you know we're like we're okay with going somewhere and and uh, getting developed and and grinding and not like even if we don't see result results right away like we're okay with that like we're there to grind so yeah grinding in the weight room of course bringing like that mentality of not giving up pushing yourself to the limits, stuff like that. And, you know, kind of speaking on pushing yourself to the limit, man, Isaac, bro, what is the limit, man, on these, on this weight, bro? Like, what, what is the number, man? You, you won. You won, dude. There's, I don't even know if you leave any more weight in the weight room when you're, when you're going up for a deadlift or whatever. Uh, right. Talk to me a, bit, a little bit about how you got into that and, you know, what, what that's kind of provided for you, you know, not just lifting for uh, football, but I see you also do like power lifting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, talk to me a little bit about, you know, what that's like and um, how that's kind of helped you. Yeah, it was nice. So like ever since sixth grade, his dad got us up into the weight room like two days a week and we've been lifting hard since then. Uh, yeah, just never satisfied with like, I'll get, I'll get a PR and I'm like, all right, I want more. Like you just gotta keep pushing yourself because you gotta push yourself to your limits, you know? It's opened up a lot of opportunities, like powerlifting, I broke three state records, which was cool, and that was my second powerlifting meet, so that was nice. Right now I'm trying to get to a 600 pound deadlift, so we'll see. You're at, you're at what right now? I'm at 585 right now. That was like, like wow. last week. Jeez Louise, man, six pound, or 600? <laughs> six, six stacks, man, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so then, you know, any any young player trying to, you know, thinking about, you know, getting, uh, you know, getting in the weight room, or maybe they're not like don't have the confidence to get into. What would you what would you kind of say to kind of encourage them to get get in there and get training? Don't yeah, I would definitely say don't get discouraged about like your weight. Like your weight, it's just dependent on like your body weight, how hard you work. If you're working hard, it's gonna go up. You just gotta make sure your form's right and all that stuff. And if you're like with the right people, they'll motivate you. Like I know Tanner and all of them, like they get me hyped up and I hype them up. Like it's just like a family feeling up in the weight room. I think that places gotta ensure that failure is not bad. Yeah, and you have to fail to succeed. It's a good thing. So the kids need to, to understand that and that, that it's learning, so. Just gotta let them crush themselves under 225, right? Just go for it, man. <laughs> just, oh, just, that's how you learn, man. Um, but uh, so I'm kind of starting to wrap up here a little bit. Um, you know, senior year, we've talked about it a couple. We've touched on this a little bit, uh, quite a few already, quite a few times already. Uh, you know, senior year, it's the big year. Uh, you know, like you, like we said, you know, sophomore year, you guys are running up. Junior year, you guys, you know, had a great season, but like you said, you kind of maybe let that one slip through a little bit. What are, what are some goals, you know, uh, for 2024 as a team and, you know, as individuals as well? Uh, like whether it be, you know, maybe you're trying to – maybe there's a certain number you're trying to put up in terms of stats or 
uh, maybe it's just on the recruiting front, uh, whatever it may be. Yeah. Uh, I think for team goals, you know, just like unity, and uh, we really emphasize being being one. So uh, I think if we become if we're if we're all selfless and put the team first, I think I think we're gonna go a long ways. And that for me, that's that's my goal. Is I, I want to win. That, that's all I want. And I and we're not doing anything else. So. We aren't going to be satisfied until we have a ring on our finger. Playoff win, semifinal win, it doesn't matter. All that matters is the final game. You got to learn from the other games and whatnot. All eyes on Memorial then, huh? Seems like it's kind of the mission. Mm-hmm. Definitely, man. Yeah, man. I, you know, I'm looking at, I was looking at kind of you know, rosters and in, in, uh, you guys class and yeah I mean you guys you guys are returning a good amount of players you know it's you guys and you got uh, another player I was kind of looking at was Alex uh you know just some tough guys tough players a lot of good talent um and yeah I'm, I'm excited to see where you guys go in 20, 2023 and uh yeah maybe maybe we'll see you guys in memorial um so then you know the last thing I do here uh, kind of turn the floor over to, uh, you know, you guys. Um, and it's just kind of a quick session where, you know, I give you guys a chance to, you know, give thanks to those people that have kind of helped you along the way. Uh, you know, you kind of give your shout outs to, you know, your family, your coaches, wh- whoever's really uh, kind of been in your corner throughout the, throughout all of this, you know, whether it just be football, recruiting, school, you know, just when times get a little tough, uh, you know, just showing some love to those people. Yeah, we've we've had a lot of great coaches throughout the year, and we've also been blessed with like an amazing weights coach. He's up there more than anyone else because he puts all this work in. He makes us weight cards, like how much weight we should be lifting that week and whatnot. He spends hours upon hours. Volunteer work. Yeah, too. volunteer. He doesn't get paid for it, which is crazy. So he just does that for us. And got parents, of course. They encourage me a lot into like lifting and you know pushing myself beyond my limits. <laughs> Uh, probably just just my parents for me. Uh, like, there's a lot of expenses and stuff when it comes to like going to college camps and everything, and the, and the drives for visits and and all the things they come to. So I just I just love the sport from them. So no, that's good to have those you know those good people in your corner and kind of you know keeping you keep pushing you uh, to be better people and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, yeah, like I said, I just like to give the opportunity to do so. Um, and let me see here. I think that's all I really got for you guys, man. I want, like I said, I want to make sure you guys are able to uh, get off to, you know, get off to class and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think of a wrap-up question. Um, who, who's hitting in a in a what's it called in an Oklahoma drill? Who, who's the who's the one dude on the team that you're like, all right? I don't. I don't want. The, I don't want this smoke, man. I don't. Want, I'm not trying. And hey, maybe you could even go back. I know you guys just had big, big old Carter Carter Sime on the team a couple of years ago. You know, maybe you guys could. You know, he could be an option as well. Who, who's who's that guy that's like, man? If I meet this guy in the hole, dude. I would. I'd probably say. <laughs> I would probably say either Corey Hollinger, that's his brother from last year, or. Alex Noy through the hole. Yeah. Him or Alex? Yeah. Whenever I go against this dude in drills, he really got to get low. He he's got a low center of gravity, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. You're trucking, man, for sure. And so then, you know, Big Bro could also put a put a put a lick on people. Yeah. Yeah. Who who who's who's winning there? Now, you is it you or Corey winning in a one on one? Oh, like board drill? I don't know. We'll have to see someday. Yeah, if you weigh in right now, it would be pretty close, I feel like. Yeah, it's got the older brother strength, man. I'm, I'm always default to the big bro, man. Always. Got that, <laughs> got that big bro, old man strength, for sure. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, all, that's all I got for you guys, man. I, I, I appreciate, you know, taking time to do so, uh, you know, taking your free period. Um, okay. yeah, I'm excited to see you guys out and about this summer and, uh, you know, Hopefully, catch some games out uh, this fall. Yeah, so. get that. Clarkson Lee or Shelby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I might, I might have to hit up that rematch, man. That's gonna be. That's gonna be. 
uh, a slob or not, for sure, man. Like yeah. Good old J. Bring the heat. Bring the heat. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm down, man. I, I'll, I'll mark it on my calendar right now, man, for sure. Oh yeah. All right, man. Well, yeah. Take it easy, guys. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. much. Yeah. Thank you. When you try to be the glue, it'll get you stuck. Always learn to hate, cause love will get you cut. You can have their back and they still gonna front. You can share a laugh and they can get you done. You can face a battery, they still gon' jump. I know that they mad at me.